Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures This Way. My name is Don. Today I'm doing a demo ride on this here 2021 Can Am Outlander 850 V Twin. Uh, special thanks goes out to my buddy Richard and uh, all the people at Cartronics Power Sports for letting me give this thing a test drive. Okay, wow, power steering, she gets an A plus already, gets a win over the Polaris, I think I got her on medium. I've had about 15 minutes or so driving this uh, 2021 Can-Am Outlander 850 XT model. So far, it's good. It's, uh, it's a nice unit. With the XT model, you're definitely up from the base. Uh, it's a little more premium. You got a little more, a lot more features. You got your winch. Uh, I'm not sure. I have to check what size it is. 2,500 maybe. You got your bumpers. You got your axe. You got some nice paint. Accoutrements. Oops, that came open. Uh, you got your XT guards. You also got the uh, display. It's newer for this. Uh, the newer display for this year. 26-inch tires on 14-inch rims. And I gotta say, the stock Canon rims, they are really nice. Really nice. The only reason you'd want to change those is if you were changing up your tire size. Maybe going to a square setup. Really depends. So these are a tear cross. Blah blah blah. You can look it up in the man. You can look it up on their website. But I tell you, these feel really good. I like them. I like them. So I really haven't tested it too much yet. Other than this big uh, hill climb here, which if you've seen any of my other videos, I've climbed up and down this thing a whole bunch of times. And uh, she did good. So with the Outlander, you get storage in the back. So let's check out the storage, which we all know it's water resistant. It's not waterproof. I've got pretty good storage in here. I got two bags. I got my lunch and then I got some camera equipment in there And I mean there's room for a few other things <laughs> Maybe we'll try the winch out, but uh, not on purpose. Uh, I gotta have it back by the end of the day <laughs> Okay, let's get on the road All right boys, let's get back to some ripping enough shooting the breeze with you guys Okay, I'm gonna turn the switch on Let's leave her in, uh, let's leave her two-wheel drive and see how she goes. It's gonna be slippery. Right now, I'm running in normal mode. So once I get uh, a little more comfortable with it, I'll switch to sport and we'll be full on 100% throttle response. Let me tell you, these shocks are not like on the XXC. Just saying. I would have to say a little shorter a little shorter on the wheelbase it, It's definitely a lot more fun so It's so much easier to maneuver. I like it It's fun
All right, boys. Now we're gonna start opening this thing up a little bit more. Now again, it's still in break-in mode. Uh, what are we at here? 72 kilometers on the on the thing. So I don't know. I probably put seven or eight. Let's go put a bunch more on, shall we? Got to tell you, I do love the way the sound of this engine, man. The V-twin. There's something about it. It's just kind of sexy, really. I love the sound of the starter. Do you know what's the worst sounding starter in the power sports industry? I think is this electric start on the Polaris snowmobiles. It sounds like a, a bunch of ball bearings bouncing around inside a tin can. Yeah, it's not very confidence inspiring. But obviously it works, but it just sounds so bad. Okay, let's get at her. And uh, let's time to put her in uh, sport mode. And we're gonna go back to two wheel drives. And we're gonna go rip some trails. Some back roads, trails. I'm gonna put some kilometers on. Yeah, okay, this snow is a little too deep for that. <laughs> a little too deep for a sport mode. <laughs> it's wheel drive. <laughs> she just spins. Definitely bottom out on these. Oh geez. Bad idea. Get right, get right. Well, we're alright, we're alright, we're alright. Whoa! Oh man, that just crunched my back. Oh When you do a rad relocate, you can't rip trails like I just did back there. You can't. You cannot do it the same. Once I put the rad relocate on mine, it immediately it was not as fun to drive. It was great that I didn't overheat and it worked for the intended purpose, but it takes something away from it. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, the ones that sit a little bit lower, like probably the, uh, the high lifter models that sit low, and the stock Can-Am Outlander XMRs. They sit kind of low, but they're still up too. It really changes your center of gravity. It really does. And I found that was something I found that I didn't actually like that much. This thing's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. But I'm telling you, get an Outlander XTP with the upgraded shocks. An XTP 850, will be more than anybody would need for most applications. You could change your tires up if you want to do a little bit more aggressive off-trail stuff and get through most stuff and trail ride and take it hunting and work and everything. That would be a wicked machine, wicked. My experience so far with the Can-Am suspension, once you get into the Fox podium type shocks, that are higher grade, you're gonna get a better ride. And then if you get into the RC2 ones that are on the XXCs, so much more adjustability. When it comes to the Polaris, the only really good shocks you get with adjustability and quality is when you get into a Scrambler. Then you have the Scrambler and the Sportsman S. That's a whole different animal. They're, they're a completely different animal than, than any of these. Okay, we're burning daylight, let's go. Boys, I gotta tell you, this is just so much fun just riding. And you know, I talk about my mantra on this channel. It's all about getting out and enjoying the ride. And 100% uh, is still true. I love it. I just love being out. I've so I've missed it so much. Like I've missed it big time. Sport mode is way more funner. <laughs> 